Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my everyday hair routine, how I achieve these loose beach wave curls for short hair. And I've been trying to find a routine that works for me, and I think I finally found it. I've been loving this hairstyle lately. I usually wear my hair like this every day, middle part, and some loose curls on the end. So I want to show you guys how I get like, they're not even curls, they're like beach waves because they're kind of just like away from the face and super like effortless sort of and it's super easy to achieve you don't need like a fancy curling iron i use a wand and a straightener to achieve this so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned with all the other videos that i post on this channel so yeah let's go ahead and get into my hair routine this is what my hair looks like literally right after bed i just have it usually tied up like this in the back but this is um what it looks like so i usually only wash my hair once a week so this is like fourth day hair i think um and yeah let's go ahead and get started on how I do my everyday hairstyle. So I'm gonna start off by doing a middle part in my hair. This is something that I do every morning because sometimes um, the middle part kind of gets messed up <laughs> after like sleeping and stuff. So we'll just, nope, we'll just do that really quick. And this is obviously the way that I like to part my hair. If you part your hair to the side or whatever, then that's how you would begin your routine. I'm going to choose a side that I want to start styling. So I usually like to do the left side. So I literally just part the back in the middle and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to clip this side up and then I'm going to work with this side. Now to start off, I usually don't comb my hair. I just comb my hair with my fingers because I find that when I comb my hair with an actual brush, my hair gets super duper poofy and I don't like that because I like to have texture in my hair. And my hair generally doesn't get that tangly, so combing it with my fingers is like, it's enough. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with prepping my hair before going in with heat. So I'm using the Amazing Grace Dry Shampoo, and this I apply to my roots. So this I apply to my roots at a distance, and then I kind of just spread it out. I also like to go down here, just kind of anywhere where the roots show, because again, I only wash my hair once a week, so. I need to somehow re revive it. I like to lift my hair a bit so I get some under. And down here, just kind of all over. I also go in with the Way Texturizing Hairspray to give me a little bit more texture on my ends. So we'll just apply a bit, yeah, just a tiny spray. And then kind of just fluff up the hair a little bit. So now we can go in with the wand to start curling the hair. So this is what I use to curl my hair. It's this one right here I got from TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate this hair in two sections. I'll put this part up just with like a bobby pin. And then I'm gonna start working with this area. So, okay, so I like to style my hair away from the face and towards the back of my head, I use like larger strands of hair because I'm not too particular about how it looks. But you'll see as I get closer to my face, the strands get smaller. Um, so I'm just going to start large because I just, you know, want to get it over with and the ends, the back of my hair isn't like, doesn't really matter. So this is as big as the hair that I get. And then I just come around, put the wand against the hair and then I curl away from my face and then I just hold it there for like, I usually like to do the ABCs like A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, P, but you can really just guesstimate. But it'll give you like, honestly, it'll give you like that loose wave curl. It's just one curl in the hair and then the ends are pretty straight. So that's usually okay for me for the back of my hair because again, I don't really want it to be that precise back there. So I'll just come around, put the wand at the close to my root and then just begin to curl it. I like to leave a good amount off the wand so that it gives me like that straight end um, and it'll give you like that loose curl beach wave type of effect. This is how this one looks. So I'm doing another thick strand just like this because again I just want to get rid of the back part already and move on to the front because that's where I'm a little bit more detailed. So the strands are super thick back here so I'm just like curling it and leaving a good amount off of the wand so that that gives me the straight end. And then here's where we're going to start getting smaller strands of hair. I would say about this size is pretty good. And so I'm going to start doing some away from the face. So in this case, I'm going away from the face and then leaving a strand out just like that. 
And again, when you first do it, it looks super tight and put together, but we're gonna comb it through at the end. And then I try to alternate. So if that one was away from the face, so this one is gonna be towards the face, like this, because this difference in direction is what's gonna give you that texture throughout the your whole entire hair so that it doesn't look like super put together. So this one's toward. Another thing that I like to do is I like to alternate in um, height. So as you can see, the last few strands, I've been starting at the root of the hair. I like to alternate where I go root or lower, just so that, again, it doesn't look too unified and it looks a little bit messier. So for this one, I'll start a bit lower, like this. And then, and then this one, I can go like at the root and towards the hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that throughout their hair, alternating between the root, lower, away, towards, um, and then I'll show you guys how I style the front of the hair. Okay, so once I get to like the last two strands of the front of my hair, this is where I do it pretty similarly. So I do them both away from the face. So I'll divide the, this strand into two different strands. I'll do one towards the root. So I put the wand behind the strand of hair and just kind of twirl it around. And I hold it there for a good amount. Another, another trick to this is the wider you separate the hair on the wand, the larger your curls are going to be or the looser they're going to be. So if my hand, if my strands were super tight on the wand, then my, my curls going to be a lot tighter. So then this one is going to be the same direction, but I'm just going to do it a little bit lower because I kind of want it to fall on the other curl. So we're going to go a little bit lower, but same direction away from the face. And then again, as you can see, the strands on the wand are pretty, they have a good amount of space between them, so the curl's not gonna be too, too, too tight. Like that, and it'll be kind of like that. So we're just gonna leave this hair like that for now. It's obviously not gonna look like this, but we're gonna keep it like this for now. I'm gonna clip this away from my face. We're gonna move on to this side of the hair. And again, we're gonna prep this side. So I'm gonna apply the same dry shampoo to the roots. Apply it back here, same under here, and then I am going to spray my ends with the same texturizing spray, just to kind of give me a little bit of that texture. And then we'll divide this side of the hair into two, and then we're going to start curling the back of the hair. For this part, I'm going to put the wand behind the hair and again, I'm going to curl away from the face and then that gives you like that curl, but we're not too worried about those little hairs. <laughs> put the wand in the downward direction against the hair and then just wrap it around. For this side of the hair, it's kind of hard to have the strands like spread out but because the hairs are so small so don't worry about that for the you see how like it's a lot tighter the curl because the strands of hair are so close on the wand but there's really no way around it because the strands of hair are so small anyway so same thing i just like to use large chunks back here because i just want to get it over with honestly i don't want to waste too much time because this is like an everyday thing so i don't want to waste too much time on those small hairs back there because I feel like no one can even see them. <laughs> so when I get towards like the longer hairs, this is where I begin to be a little bit more precise. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll have the wand facing downwards, place it against the root of the hair and then just wrap it around. And if you notice here, the strands are a lot more spread out on the wand, so it's gonna give me a looser curl. 
but I still have a good amount of the ends sticking out that's not wrapped around. So this is basically how I do this side of the hair. I'm gonna give you, yeah, see just like a very loose curl. And then I alternate um, directions. So that one was away from the face. So this one, we're gonna put the wand in front of the strand to go towards the face, just like that. See how this one goes, curls towards the face. This one is gonna be away from the face, so you put the wand behind the strand and then just wrap with some hair sticking out. This side will be towards the face, so you put the wand in front of the hair strand and wrap it around. And then this one is away, so the wand goes behind the hair and then wrap it. And I always like to try to point the wand downward because it's gonna give me that looser curl. And then just release and you have like that curl. So I'm doing the same thing with the other half of the this side of hair, just going back and forth in different directions. And then I'll show you guys how I style the front of the hair. Similar to this side, when I get to the last two strands of hair, I put do them in the same direction. The first one I do like right at the root, and then the last one that's closer to the face, I do a little bit lower so it lays nicely on the curl behind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide this into two. So this back strand, I'm gonna go ahead and put the one behind the hair because we're doing it away from the face, close to the root, and then just like this. So we're gonna count A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, I, J, I, Doing your alphabet really helps. So that's this curl. And then for this one, we'll do it a little bit lower, but same direction away. Then we'll do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, X, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And voila. So now I'm gonna show you guys basically how we're kind of texturize it up and make it look a little bit natural because see this looks super like, like these curls are so tight and just not the kind of style that I like because they're super tight and super organized. So, so now I'm gonna go ahead and spray all of the curls with hairspray. And I love to use the R & Co Vicious Stronghold Flexible Hairspray. Move my coffee before I get hairspray in it. I really love this hairspray because it's gentle and it doesn't make my curls like hard, but it still holds a good curl. <clears throat> and I love the smell too. It smells super fresh, it smells like shampoo. So I'll go ahead and start just kind of pulling my curls, just like this, on all around the hair. Even on the back, our poor curls back there, <laughs> just like this. So once you kind of dissemble your curls a little bit, I like to just kind of fluff up my roots. And then I'm gonna go in with a straightener and I'm gonna straighten the ends of my hair. If you use a regular curling iron, then you can skip this step because generally when you use a curling iron, when you pull out, it straightens the ends for itself. But in this case, because I used the wand and just left the hairs out, they don't look like super straight. So I'm gonna go in and straighten the ends to give me that beach wave look. And I try to do as much around the hair as I can. As you can see, the ends are starting to look more straight. Duh, you're using a straightener. <laughs> So I just like, I probably do like about two inches of the ends, just straightened out. This is good. So this is how the hair looks after you straighten out most of the ends. And if you'd like, you can kind of texturize it a little bit, give it a little bit of more volume, however you want to do. 
But yeah, this is basically how I achieve my everyday hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial slash routine. This is very easy for me. It took me longer because I was filming, but generally this takes me about 15 minutes to do and then I'm out the door. And I love this look because it's super long lasting. I don't think tomorrow I'm gonna have to do my curls because these curls generally last me like a day or even two if I take care of them. So this is really like an every other day routine because I don't have to do my hair this often but I love like just that messy look so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned with everything else that I post on this channel and I'll see you guys in the next one bye